let's all sit up straight. Jaron Davis. Landy Ewing. Hello. Sister Becky Davis. We're going, we all ready to sing, sing, sing. Once like a bird in prison I dwell. No freedom from my sorrow I feel. But Jesus came and listened to me. Glory to God, he set me free. He set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bonds of prison for me. Well, I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Glory to God, he set me free. Now I am climbing higher each day. Darkness of night has drifted away. My feet are planted on higher ground. Glory to God, I'm homeward bound. He set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bonds of prison for me. When I'm glory bound, my Jesus to see. Glory to God, he set me free. I'm glory bound, I'm glory bound, my Jesus to see. Glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, He set me free. Set me free. Yay! Release! Woo. Hey, everybody! We are in Jaron Davis's house and his sweet wife, Becky, and their grandchild was just here. Oh, yeah. How much do y'all love him? Much, 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 much. How has he changed your world? Look at that picture right there. Yeah, let me show y'all. Oh, look, it'll focus. Uh oh, the picture went dead. Oh, let me try this one. Okay. Let's see if this camera will work better. Oh. Well, there he is. Almost. Oh, well, no? uh, Keeps going dead. Yeah, it What's goes dark. Phone, well, y'all, we're so. You know what? I'll be honest with you tonight. I'm not going to worry about the words because I can't think about everything, and we got too many talented people. Oh. So, and I, I, one of our surprises is on her way. Oh. <clears throat> and. She'll be here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But one, another of our surprises tonight mm -hmm. is Mr. Landy Ewing, mm -hmm. who is one of the most incredible singers, bass yeah. players. Mm -hmm. uh, his daddy, Merle. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. If you've never heard of Merle Ewing, Google him later. Yeah. And watch him on YouTube. What's that song he did? His mom, his mom wrote a song that his dad sang on one of the Gaither videos, He Saw Me. Yes. Ah. Oh. What an incredible he song. He saw it. He's got this yeah. big voice. But let's sing something else. What is the right. we're, we're, we're rehearsing? And Landy is a chip off the old block. Now, Vani Lopez, yes. you've had her on your that's show. That's right. And that's Landy's sister. That's a sister. Right. Mary Ewing's daughter. Mm -hmm. So talent runs rampant. Runs in rampant that in that family. Yep. And the Ooh. mama is the songwriter. Well, listen, we got 1,152 of y'all joining us tonight Yay. so far. Now, let me tell you, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe, ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I go live. And also, if you're watching on Facebook, share, share, share. Sharing is caring. You know that, don't you? <laughs> All right, let's sing uh, yeah. something. All right, I'm gonna. I'm sharing this on here oh, you on my Facebook, so everybody oh, will uh, be yeah. watching. Yeah. There we go. There you nice. go. Yeah. You say, there we sharing go. is caring. Now. Okay. Thank you for letting us invade your world tonight. Love it. What do we want to sing? Well, uh, <clears throat> you want to do too much to gain to lose? Let's do it. Come over here, brother Ewan. Let's see if we can get, get over there. Pull this chair up here and let's get around this microphone. Let's gather around this mic. I know it's kind of impromptu, but I want you up here. You're singing the, the low part. All right. Many miles behind me Too many trials are through Too many tears help Lie behind the mountain to 
rivers my feet have walked through. Too many treasures are waiting over yonder. There's too much to give. burning desert <laughs> I thought I'd talk it but then I changed my mind <laughs> struggling the right road to choose all that somewhere up ahead there's cool clear water and defeat <laughs> is one word I don't use. Mm. Joyce McClanahan and Sandra McGinnis Spryka. What a name you got there. One of my favorites, Deanna Kilpatrick says. Thank you all for tuning in. 1,725 of you are tuning in tonight all over the world. That's what I love about this. When I walked in, I had two bags. I had one over here and one at my, my satchel and then my other bag. And I said, in these two bags we reach the world. Mm. You know, it's a small little 1,700 member world, but it's a world, and I'm glad you're in it. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. Does it sound okay? Look at there. He's checking it out. Uh, hello, Sad. Everything sounds all right? I hope so. I haven't got everything figured out. But I think this little microphone, isn't it cool? It's so retro looking. Mm -hmm. It's it so cool. good enough. All right, sing. Uh, it looks like oh. the old mics they used to mount on the pulpit. Yes. At the mm. church. Yeah. And we, they didn't, everybody didn't have a mic. We all gathered around the pulpit and they had that <laughs> squeaky <laughs> gooseneck. Yes. <laughs> and the sound system was <laughs> under <laughs> there and it was one knob. It was, and it said uh, Radio Shack on it or TI. Yeah. And, and, I can't tell you how many pastors probably to this day wish they had one little knob right by their oh, seat yeah. <laughs> so they can, control. they can turn it down. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do, how about uh, Farther Along? Or yeah, everybody that, uh, can sing. Everybody knows that. Farther Along? Yeah. We'll keep it. Ten, uh, how does it go? Ten, uh, Landy, ten. Let Landy sing the, the verses on this. All right. And, and Come on. we'll all help him on the chorus. All right. Now, all of you out there know how to sing and you know your parts. Yes. So when we get to the chorus, one big giant sing choir. Sing your part. And Landy, you're hiding behind. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can't see you. Can't see you. We'll understand it. Bye bye, y'all. We'll understand. Let me find the words. <laughs> Tempted and tried, oft made to wonder why it should be thus. all the day long.
there are others living among us. Never molested, though it's not. Never molested, though in the wrong. There's a special day coming up soon. We need to pick it up a little bit, boys. Mark, Mark boys. that's that's uh, here in the month of June. <coughs> yeah. There's a special holiday coming up, and uh, we want to dedicate that song. Um, Father's Day is coming up soon, so that beautiful song, Father's uh, Father, Father Alone. Along, we want to all you fathers that, out all there, the fathers that was just for there. you, Father yep. Alone. Amen. <laughs>
<laughs> that was his I'll dad joke for the day. <laughs> oh, y'all should have seen them when that grandbaby got in here. Oh, they lit up. Oh, they lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, what do we want? What do y'all want to sing? What do y'all want to sing? This is just your much y'all as it is us. Uh, Tiffany Taylor says she's loving this. We love that, Tiffany. What about now? Uh, to God be the glory. Someone's, oh, okay. Who said that? Hold on. <laughs> to God be the glory. Are they Great talking about that one or Andres? I don't know. Which one are you talking about, Doris? Talking <laughs> about that one or Andres? Oh, his to goes. God be, be the, the glory. glory. No, I, we like the other one. <laughs> you like that <laughs> I like it. No, the other one's easier. You like yeah. the other one better. His mother loved yeah. his better. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That, to, to God. That is a hard song to sing, that Andre mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. It gets up it there. Is. The Ram. Oh, God so, yeah. be the glory. How can I say Yeah, you better start it down there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's But a, the other one, to God be the glory. Great things he hath done. And great our rejoicing through no. Jesus. Uh, wrong. So, and what is it? Not great. Not Da, 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 and loved us, and he gave us his son. So much he loved us. Here it is, y'all. Got it. Uh -oh. Maybe the other one's easier. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe the other one is easier. Huh? Yeah. Okay. To God be the glory. Great things he hath done. Hath loved he the world that he gave us his son. Who yielded his life and uttered. For sin and open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give. One, it is because yes. oh, come to the Father through Jesus the, the Son. Y'all wouldn't have sung no, that. No, we all we we believe that. No, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's scripture. I know it, but I didn't think y'all knew it. <laughs> Can we do? <laughs> hey, y'all, what you want to sing now? That was a good one, Doris. <laughs> oh, Doris, that was a good one. Hey, how about he look down my phone? Okay, what, what, what about uh, when you, we all get to heaven? Oh yeah, everybody loves that Let's one. Let's do that one. Let me sit back. Here's, here's the word, y'all. Yeah. Jesus. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare us a place. That's the way my Baptist friend sang it. We didn't sing it that high. Christ. Here it goes. Now, While now, we the way won't. we sang it at our church. It. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the magic of pride and blessing. He prepared for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day I'm rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. We didn't do that. I, we did at my church. Y'all were a country church. <laughs> so, and you were a city church. Oh, <laughs> Savannah, Tennessee, population 9,000. Uh, Big city. <laughs> But well, we are sitting city here city waiting on our special guest, yes. Angela Prim. Where is she? Hey, um, <sighs> Angie, uh, where are you? Let's call, let's call her an embarrassment. Uh, he looked beyond my fault. Oh, yeah, okay, that's, that's a good one. Do that one. This is a song Becky and Landy and I um, 
sang together a few years ago at a church event, and uh, so we got around the piano. And before I forget, Gordon Moat, the entire Gordon Moat interview will be at the very end of all the singing, so don't go anywhere if you're waiting on Gordon. And if you're watching the replay and you just came to see Gordon, just speed ahead. But we're live right now, so you can't do it. But don't speed ahead, because we're ahead. gonna oh, sing no. some fun stuff and Angie Prim's gonna be worth the oh, wait, so you'll love it. Uh, so anyway, this is a classic Dottie Rambo song. Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise for it was grace that bought my liberty I do not know just why he came to love me so He looked beyond my fault yeah. and saw my need. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary. She didn't know anything about this till Nothing. about an hour ago. I was like, oh my gosh, my hair got wet. And with black hair, it takes a little more effort to curl it. Oh, it does? <laughs> <laughs> well, How are you? I'm my daddy, G. Oh, I love you. I love you <laughs> so I much. I did. Oh. Oh, that's a good I told you I loved you so much. I know you did. In Gallenberg, you got on the nerves. We are family. Yeah, yes, we all and we've all been vaccinated. Yeah, all, all good. We're thankful for the vaccination. Everybody should get it so we can get back together. I know. Okay, should not Angie sing something since she was yeah. late? Oh yeah. yeah, you were late. You got the rest of the show in. Did you I say have put, late? No, I'm kidding. You, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I want you to know all of their email address. Not the email addresses. Their websites. Yes. JaronDavisMusic.com yes. is in the show notes. 
Angela Prim uh -huh. Music or Ministries? Just, just, Angela Prim Ministries is the name of my ministry. Yeah. But it's AngelaPrim.com. AngelaPrim.com, and you got a book, yes. right? Oh, yes. You can go there and get her yes. new book called oh. So You Say You Want to Sing. Ooh. Yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> I colored a book, but I've <laughs> No, I've written. But I want you to know, if you want to sing, get this. Go to Angela Prim. It's a great dot com uh -huh. and and get her book, especially if you want to sing. Yeah. Find out memoirs of a background vocalist. That sounds fascinating. Do you, know you, do you, do you tell any dirt? I do. She tells dirt, y'all. <laughs> and you're in it. Uh oh. What <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <Her> page? <laughs> <laughs> so and Daddy G is in at the forward. Oh, is my where, and where's your CD? Oh, and she's got this CD oh, yes. called Anthems and Hymns for Him, y'all. Look at there. Get that at AngelaPrim.com. Angie, sing something for us. What, what have you got? Oh, Forward by Jaron Davis. Oh. He can write. <laughs> And it was excellent. <laughs> oh, I love it. The stuff she covers in there is really good. Really? <laughs> yeah. She cool. deals with the dirt. <laughs> deals with how to be a background singer? Yeah. Yes. It's not all about vocals. Wasn't no, Family Fest not. good? Oh, it was. Y'all need to come to no. Family Fest next year. Next year, year. yeah. It was, this was the 30th. This was, was the 30th. Was it? Yeah, because we missed it really? last year. Yeah, the city gave Bill. A proclamation, the mayor and everybody, a proclamation for 30 years in um, Gatlinburg. So. Oh That's pretty amazing when you've had a positive impact on a community yeah, like years. that that yes. sees that yes. many visitors for 30 yes. years. That's that's pretty powerful. Bill and, and he Gloria doesn't he doesn't look like he's going anywhere either. No, Absolutely. 85 and still plowing. That's the reason why. Well, I used to think oh, I'll take a year off, you know, because I'm like grill cream, a little dabble, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought I don't need to be there every year. But now that he's 85. How many more can there be? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, you know what's funny? He's 85 and just bought a brand new bus. <laughs> Yeah. That's how he much did. he's slowing he down. Did. He just he bought did. a brand new bus. I love that. Yeah, but I love know, it. I think I it's thought great. it was interesting how uh, Bill talked about me during the fest and how, because I just get, you know, crazy. Some of your people were just <laughs> enjoying it, and then they were like, oh my God, you know, because yeah. Bill has me to do that. Right. But he introduced me as a disciplined singer, but when I'm live, I'm different. Well, in my book, I talk about how disciplined you have to be because Jaron is one of the hardest producers to ever work for because he hears everything, oh, yeah. <laughs> every note, every track. When he lays down a track, there is a certain vocal he wants to go with that track. And people say that they want to sing, but it's just not about opening your mouth to right. sing. You have to be disciplined to hear what the producer wants. Well, then get honest. this book. Yes. All right, yes. now you sing and show them what you know how yeah, to do. Yeah, singing. Amen. Oh, well, okay. What do you want am to sing? I, am I taped or can no, I? No, okay. no. So, okay. You how, want to hold a God's unchanging hand? Oh, we, you want to we do that? that. Yeah. Okay, now that's not disciplined. Oh, yeah, we, we don't, don't care. Discipline. No, we, we don't good? No, we, we, we're taking the harness off tonight. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Daddy G, I've we, not sung with you in a long time. We want church. We want church. Angie, you're going to have Time is filled with swift transition. No on earth and who can stand. Build your homes on things eternal. Uh, oh, to God's unchanging hand. Oh, you got a hope. God's unchanging hand. Oh, yeah. Hold to his hand. Yeah. God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. If your journey is completed, oh, Lord, yeah. To God you have been true. Whoa! 
shower by yourself yes you know like right now wherever you are you're some of y'all are alone because you've told me you are and that you enjoy these sing-alongs i hope you're singing along at home now that's the whole point right that we're singing together and just think up in heaven they're hearing all that yes from all points of the world all that (laughs) praise is going up to the father even though you're alone you're part of this choir and this group all right what else That's high. <clears throat> no, God says low. But yeah, I am with you. Low. He loves to get so high we can't sing but it you anymore. You want to Well, let her. No, okay. Do it. Okay. Do that. Yeah, okay. Hey, at these prices, oh. put it where she wants it. Yeah. Put it where I she done wants. sang so much. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've had many tears and sorrow. Yeah. I've had questions for tomorrow. There's been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in my lonely hours, the blessed lonely hours, Jesus, let me know. Jesus, let me know I am His own. Yes, He did. <laughs> Oh, come I've on, been sing. a lot of places. I've been a lot of places. I've been a lot of places. I've seen a lot of faces. I've seen a lot of faces. There have been times. There have been times I felt so all alone. But in those lonely hours, precious lonely hours. I'd 
That's he great. Write a song. Well, you've written one too. Mm. One or two. I asked him today, I said, Are you excited about anything you've written? He said, Oh, a couple of things. And I'm thinking, A couple of things? I haven't had one thing in so long. Uh, how many how many songs do you think you write a year, would you guess? If you were to guess. I would say probably I don't know, maybe thirty. Thirty. Wow. 30. And you have to have an idea for every one of those. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hard part, isn't it? I, yeah, I don't know. I mean some you know, some weeks I'll write three songs or four songs. Some weeks I May write one song. I try to write something every single week. Now Reba, right. Rambo, oh, every day. she, wow. like her mother, wrote something every single day. What? Yeah, Still does. she writes something every single day, and oh, oh. and I am, you know, I'm not that. Well, I want you to sing a chorus of, of your hit. We are standing on holy. Do y'all know he wrote "We are standing on holy ground"? For those of you who are watching and did not know that. This man wrote, we are standing on holy ground, and he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the very few people in a hymnal, <laughs> me and Bill Gates, yes. that are still alive. Somebody, in, in the hymnals, they always put on that biography page, they put the year you were born and the year you died. Yeah. And so, under my name, they just had 1960, which is when I was born, and the hyphen, and somebody thought it meant I wrote Holy Ground in 1960. Oh. <laughs> Do I look old enough <laughs> to have written a song you came out of the 60 womb years song. ago? <laughs> oh my gosh, that would mean I was 80. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, okay. Just a little bit of it. Why don't you sing a verse? Uh, and then we'll all sing. When I walked through the door, I sensed his presence and I knew this was a place where love abounds for this is a temple Jehovah God the Bible
just watching this online. Maybe you're somewhere watching it on your phone. The thing I love about God and the way He works is His Word says He inhabits the praises of His people. And it doesn't take a crowd of people. It doesn't take a special building. Whenever you start to praise Him, He shows up. And some of you have some needs in your life and maybe you've been feeling hopeless about some things or helpless. Right now, wherever you are, yeah. I want you to join us. The Bible says where two or three are gathered and you and us make name. more than yeah. two or three. And He <laughs> is here. And yeah. He is available to meet you at the point of your need. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, the Bible says there's liberty. liberty. And so whatever you need in your life tonight, I want you to understand that the Lord is able and willing. He's just waiting on an invitation for you, from you to step into your situation. And He wants to be that friend to you that sticks closer than a brother. And so right now, wherever you are, let us pray. verses from the door of an orphanage to the house of a king no longer an outcast a new song I sing from rags to riches from the weak 
to the strong. Well, I'm not worthy to be here. Oh, but praise God, I belong. And I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by His blood. Join heirs. Join heirs with Jesus as we travel. Kindred spirits. Where's Allison? And uh, in case you're Sheldon. wondering where they are, yeah, they're in Sheldon. Lake Charles with their daughter with their and daughter son. Daughter. Everybody's Lake got Charles a kid Louisiana. getting in the way. I know it. They could be they could be here singing, working for the Lord, and they had to go see their child. Well, they, they, sent, they sent us a message and said, they "Said it sounded good. Sing good." Oh, good. Sing good. Oh, miss you, yeah. Allison and Shelton, yes. and um, your sister. Oh, oh my Lord. Vonda, Vonnie, 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 we love you if you're watching, and Colleen and Philip, they're, oh, yeah. people ask me where they are, well, they're in Houston, and we're in Nashville at the Davis family, and do we want to sing something else? We've been going for about 50 minutes, oh, we, and then we got to get, we got to get to our dear brother, yes. but what can we sing to wrap it up, wrap up the wrap music, up. before we bring the message? <laughs> <laughs> With Gordon Moe. What about you? Yeah, what, what you got, you Angie? Sing? One more for us. I've just, what do y'all want to hear Angie sing? Let's read the comments. You want to sing In Good Hands? It's a privilege to be a part. Yeah. That's a good oh, thank one. Thank you, what K-10, about, Matt Vicker. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah. Holt Skinner. I appreciate that. That's a good one. Uh, you, got, you got an idea, y'all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we, what's happening, Jared? Uh, you're going to sing, Angie's going to sing. This is... One of my favorite Andre songs. Oh. Interestingly enough, it's the first song he wrote. <gasps> One of the first songs he wrote. Oh, yeah. And I had the privilege, of course, you know, in high school, I grew up on Andre Crouch and the Disciples. Such a huge musical influence in my playing and in my writing and, and what I love. But then to be able to get to meet him and get to be friends. But I'll never forget we were at the Cove. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Asheville, North Carolina, part of the Billy Graham Center. And we were doing the Gaither video honoring Billy Graham and uh, a lot of the artists who, all the artists who had sung on the Billy Graham crusade. So it was a, an eclectic group of people. Um, uh, Avalon was there and uh, Sandy and- uh, Evie. Uh, uh, Evie was Evie. there. Yeah, and um, uh, Amy Grant and Vince were there. You know, a lot of the, just a wide variety of people. Randy Travis was there, and um, Andre, of course, and Cece Winans. And uh, Andre, but it was a small group, about 40 people, you'll remember. One of the smaller videos we did. And Andre gets up to sing as one of his songs, and you know he starts to play, and, and Cece walks down, and he does the song, I've got confidence. God's going to see me. And Cece sang it. And when he got done, everybody started clapping and going, you know, more, more, more. And Andre just, you know, no, no, no. And, and so I was sitting there and I thought, you know, Bill can, he has to have something to edit out. <laughs> and so, so I thought he can edit this out. So I jumped up and ran to the piano and I was sitting on the front row right behind it. And I, I jumped up and ran to the piano and I said, Andre, I knew every song you did, every arrangement you did, every lick you did. I could have, I could have, I could have been on your, your, I could have been in your group. I was nine, but I could have been in your group. And and uh, and I, I started singing uh, soon and very, yeah. soon. and everybody started singing. Well, I just did a chorus of it. And about that time, as I'm getting to the end of it, Michael W. Smith was there, and he ran up and got on the piano bench with me. He said. 
I, I'm your age too, Jaron, and I grew up on Andre, and I love the songs, and I love this one. I don't know why Jesus loved me, and everybody started singing, and I went back to another one, and uh, then and 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 we did um, several different songs, and Bill didn't edit it out. We did several several different songs of uh, well, it Andre's. Was magical. That's yeah. what it, it was so so great. It, it just kind of clicked. I, one of the funny parts was when. Uh, uh, Smitty, we call Michael W. Smith Smitty a lot of students, and and he said uh, a lot of the little blue haired ladies in my little Baptist church got nervous when I sang this one. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. There's something about the power of the Holy Ghost. I can't explain it, but I've got it, and everybody got it. Yeah, Bill, Bill asked me one time, he said, do you, do, do, do you think I ever, buy, uh, Angie, you'll be all right? I said, yeah, just keep a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to sit down with Andre. We said, One of the songs we did in that little medley was, it reaches to the highest mountain, yes. the blood will never lose its power. And I remember Gloria uh, sitting across the room and pointing at Andre and said, that's your best one. That's my favorite. And I asked Andre later, I said, what's the story about the blood will never lose its power? And he told me he was sitting, uh, he went to a, a, the home of somebody that was prominent in uh, the Christian world out in California um, in the, their culture of music that, that his dad was a pastor and, and grew up. And some guys that he had kind of looked up to, he was 16. And he said, I got there and they were drinking and and you know it was just a different drinking some of them had mixed drinks and it was so different from the world he was used to and he said he walked into uh, and I'm not saying this judgmental I'm just I'm just sharing with you Cheers. the story yes. that Andre shared with me he said it was so different for me cuz I had been raised in a world where we didn't do that and the people that we ran with didn't do that and he said I just went in the house and sat down at the piano and thought, Lord, I, I don't understand this. It seems like what I thought they were on stage and what I see here, they've changed. And he said the Lord spoke to him as a teenager and said, it doesn't matter what people do. You don't serve people. You serve me. And I have never changed my blood has never changed, and it will never lose its power. Oh. And a young teenage Andre sat down and started writing the blood that Jesus shed for me. And, and that song, when you hear it, so many people are moved. But Mark, I believe that when you write a song with passion that's born out of a moment, mm -hmm. people who hear it, Feel that passion, right. and it's not just an assignment song where you go to yeah. a writing room and crank out well, a song. We need to sing it. Is that sing the it. one? Is that the one he th threw away and his sister dug it out of the trash? I don't know that oh, part of the wow. story. I heard it, it may be. I, I think this is the one. All right, come on, Angie. Someone sing just it, Angie. wrote enough talking time to sing. <laughs> don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> we like to talk, dude. Yeah. Mother, quit sending <laughs> messages. <laughs> oh, sing. Sing it. The blood that Jesus shed for me Today! 
Well, hello, Gordon Moat. How what? are you this bright morning? Mark, you look great, man. How long <laughs> does it take you to get ready for these well, interviews? I actually washed my hair for you. I didn't want you to see my CPAP hair. You know, <laughs> when I get up in the morning after the CPAP, it looks like Phyllis Diller. Yeah. Uh, I don't know yeah, if you remember it, her. Well, I mean, <clears throat> hey, but that's your that's your look, man. And, and that's cool. And this is so a good Gordon, look for you, too. Tell us how you made it through the plague. What were there some scary times? Was there still work for you? Tell us all about it. Well, um, you know, I think everybody was a bit uh, concerned because we didn't really know what the next day held. And, you know, every day the news changed and every day somebody had something new that they were discovering. And you, you know, you kind of had to dig to find what the real truth was. And a lot of times you you couldn't really find it because everybody had a different version. And, and so it was a little bit uh, scary, I'm sure, for everybody, no matter what business you were a part of. Uh, I mean, if you were in the medical business, you, you made bank probably. But if uh, you were in the music business, maybe not so much. Right. Uh, especially those of us who, um, you know, travel and, and do that sort of thing. Of course, a lot of my days are spent in the studio. Right. But if you think about it, a lot of the people that we work with, both in the Christian world and the secular world, uh, they really can't sell merchandise um, to their to, to 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 the very best they can do unless they have a tour. Right. Um, they can sell certainly online streams were way up, and a lot of people were doing Facebook things and YouTube things, and and I did my share of those too. Um, so to answer your question, go all the way around. There were some crazy days, but, um, you know, our thing was pretty good because I was in the middle of producing two or three things and I was to a point where I could do a lot of the work by myself. And so for the first couple of three months when everybody was kind of scared to get out, um, you know, I was working with an engineer and sometimes I would work with some guys that would come in that weren't too afraid. And, uh, it, it I was able to work, uh, not as much as I normally do, but I was able to keep things going to a relatively uh, good level during the plague. I I'll tell you a funny story. You know, this past weekend, we were both at Family Fest, right. uh, the big Gaither event that we uh, missed last year because of the virus, but um, it's such a great event that Bill puts on and uh, Bill and Gloria do such a great job. Gloria wasn't with us this past weekend. Uh, but it was a great event, and I guess I, I heard they had five or six thousand, which uh, right. I was there really, <laughs> I was really glad uh, that they had that many. But a funny story about uh, on Sunday morning, the vocal band did a song called "Here I Stand," and right. it's an arrangement that I did with Russell Malden, Stuart Townend, and Gloria wrote the lyric, and um, we I had to cut that. Uh, that's on a that's on their latest album called That's Gospel Brother, and I had to cut that with just Adam and Reggie, and then I sang everybody else's vocals and sent it to them so they could record them in their home studios. And right. of course, Bill has a studio. Todd's got a, a place he goes to in Dallas. Wes has a little thing in his house. So uh, as amazing as that turned out, we were you know, we were not all together 
recording that song and several songs on the album were done like that. Right. And there's a program called audio movers that you can use so that, you know, people can kind of be with you and hear what you're doing in the studio from their studio. So technology. At the same time. Yes. You, you mean they, live? Yes. Live. And there's no, no delay. There's no, there's probably a second delay so they can't sing. Right. But like in, in, in for instance, if Bill wanted, you know, Bill, doesn't ever like to be out of the loop. He loves right. just the hang. He loves the yeah, hang. Sure. So you can do FaceTime, but when you do audio movers, he hears it on the speakers just like he would hear it if he were in the studio, and then oh. he can see us. So it's wow. it's great technology. And, you know, as far as the virus is concerned, it brought great technology to the forefront. It sure uh, did. That, that, that we've all, a lot of us have used for a while, but it made some of that technology kind of uh, commonplace almost. Well, speaking and of technology, I want to ask you, and the main reason I've been hounding you, to, <laughs> uh, and for a while there I thought, I must have offended him. He won't even return my texts. That is so wrong. That is so I wrong. I thought, what did I ever do? Because, you know, the first thing I think is I did something, you know, because <laughs> all my life I was in trouble about something. But um, but Dude. seriously, your your podcast, I love it. I did, I've did. i not heard much about it. doesn't seem like you're advertising, at least – I hope you're advertising it. I want everybody who watches me to go to the show notes and visit the page for Insight with Gordon Moat. It's a brand new podcast. It's audio, <clears throat> which I love. Now, let me ask you this. Are you using new technology to interview these people when they aren't in the room too? Yes, we are. We're using, uh, a lot of times we're using Zoom, but here's the cool thing. A lot of guys that we've interviewed and, and girls, um, a lot of people that we've interviewed have the technology to record on their side through Pro Tools or through Logic or something like that. Right. So we do the conversation on Zoom, but then they send us their side. Okay. And so it sounds just like they're in the room with us because it's a high resolution file. Well, there is a website available that does the <laughs> same thing somehow. Because yeah. I have a friend who has that type of podcast, and it sounds like they're in the studio. So even people who don't have the technology can still do it with through this website. And I'll get you find that out, information. Yeah, find out what that website is. But uh, this week, um, Becca Stevens dropped uh, yesterday. Becca runs uh, the Magdalene House and Thistle Farms here in Nashville. It's a home. Uh, well... It, it, yes, it's a home, but it's also, well, it's just an incredible organization. It helps women who have been uh, trafficked or women mm -hmm. who have been in prostitution, women who have been uh, on abused. drugs and alcohol, abused in any way. It helps them find a place to heal. And then not only that, uh, not only do they go through a program where they are able to uh, go through rehab and all those things, but it helps them find work. It helps them find a reason to be. It helps them find a new, uh, you know, it, it just helps them to find a new life and, right. and, and, and rehabilitate in a way that's not just, hey, we're gonna get you off drugs and alcohol and then we're gonna send you back out. Right. Um, it's an amazing organization. Uh, Kimberly and I have um, uh, contributed uh, both in uh, money and and our time and in a lot in lots of ways we are huge uh, fans of this organization we love what they do we've met a lot of the women and so I wanted to have Becca on to talk about it uh, mark this this podcast really is all about the power of collaboration our, That's what I've noticed and you've had Scott yeah. Hamilton you've had yeah. Bill Schnee you've had yeah. Uh, Ashley Gorley, Tyrone yeah. Crawford. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is, you will learn of new people. Yeah. Andy Andrews, of course, my people know him. Of yeah. course, and then you interviewed, the first one was what, Vince Gill? Yeah, Vince did it. And uh, Paul Brandt. I mean, you yeah. had some heavy hitters. We and do. I love got, that. I love that you're got, not rehashing everybody we already know. Right. I mean, we've uh, we've got some really good ones in the can, too. Um, you know, people from all walks of life, people, you know, that you see uh, in, you know, on your screen, movie actors. We've got 
people, a lot of people in the music business, but we've got people from all walks of life. We're, <laughs> we're, right. we're, uh, we're interviewing an astronaut coming up. Um, it, we, it's just craziness, but what the cool thing about it is really, it's all about the power of collaboration. We are so much better when we are, um, swapping ideas with other people, when we are in the room with other people or in contact with other people and ideas come to life that maybe you by yourself would have never had. Right. My conversation with Bill Schnee was so interesting. Um, a lot of people don't know that name, but you know records he's worked on. He told me the story of recording I Will Always Love You with Whitney Houston at a hotel because they couldn't get a studio and she had a day off from shooting the bodyguard. And so they just had to find a ballroom at a hotel and bring in a bunch of equipment. But the story just, it, it's worth just hearing his story about that, listening to the wow. podcast. He's got a brand new book out called Chairman at the Board. And he's worked with everybody in, in, in the music business, all these pop backs that you loved, mm. groups that I loved, you know, Toto. I mean, mm. you, records that I grew up, thinking okay if i were on an island by myself and i had to have five records bill has worked on so many of those records i loved as a kid vince was a great interview talking about his insecurities talking about things he really these people for whatever reason really seem to open up on this podcast and talk about things that in all fairness i've never heard them talk about well you and know then, what you're good at getting that out of people you know, you're a good interviewer. And also, <clears throat> I believe, even though you're blind, you see things some of us don't see. And well, in I fact, I walked by you backstage, <laughs> and, and I didn't say a word, but I was staring hard at you, and you <laughs> noticed. I don't know if you smelled me or what, but I didn't it's say a word, because there's no way I can say a word and you not know it's me but i wasn't even i just walked by you and just stared at you real hard and you looked at me your face <laughs> toward and said well how are you and i thought oh dear god this man is a liar he really can see <laughs> well man I, I i love to mess with people like that because well you did a good job know. of it it's so fun because uh mm -hmm. it does kind of freak people out but this podcast mark is uh I really appreciate you letting me come on and talk about it. We've got some, like I say, we've got some really cool people coming up. Blake Shelton's coming up in a few oh, weeks. Wow. Uh, we're talking about his new record and talking about all kinds of stuff. Um, oh. Bill Gaither is going to be the next one to drop. Uh, wow. And it was really fun to talk about, talk to Bill, because if anybody knows something about collaboration, it's Bill Gaither. Sure. Right. And, uh, you know, Bill, a lot of people that listen to this podcast, Mark, are people in the secular world, people who are businessmen like they right. may be not necessarily uh, fans of music maybe some of them don't even like music or they don't really listen to it like we do and then there are people who are musicians like us who are just like wow you had so and so on uh, ashley gorley he's written more number one songs you know than anybody in country wow. music history you know so you know, how does he do that you know how does he collaborate mm -hmm. with all these people and make that work so we have people from all walks of life, and that's why we're trying to interview people from all walks of life that can speak on the power of collaboration. And we've got a lot of things happening with our company that we'll be, we'll be talking about, uh, things that are in the works right now. If you want to see our page, you can go to soundcollaborationgroup.com and um, just kind of read about the guys. Soundcollaborationgroup.com. Yes. So, and who is this group? Well, it's my good friends, Ben Fowler, who is a Grammy winning engineer here in Nashville. Huh. I've done a lot of records with Ben over the years. And then Andy Oldham, uh, who is a dear friend. He's from Indianapolis. He has ran several Fortune 500 companies. He is just a really great guy, but he's also a brainiac. So mm. he's the brains behind this whole thing. Uh, and, and oh, cool. you know. He is just uh, an amazing wealth of information. And he kind of saw what Ben and I were doing in the studio. And he said, you know, you need to take this to the masses. You need to show people the power of collaboration. And Andy Andrews spoke really well to that when we had him on. Um, because Andy, you know, there are not many 
more people that are as sharp as Andy Andrews. Well, that's um, true. He is just an amazing man, and he's able to put things into words that even I can understand. <laughs> yes. And, and, you know, <laughs> and, and that's an amazing uh, – when someone can communicate like that, that's such an amazing talent. You have that talent. Uh, oh. Not many people have the talent like people like you and Andy, and, and I could mention several others, but that's a real talent. So I really wanted to have him on because he's got a new book, and I always love to talk to these people about their new book. Scott's new book is amazing too, Scott Hamilton's, uh -huh. and his his organization is scottcares.org. Um, you know, they, they specialize in... Uh, cancer treatment that doesn't necessarily hurt the patient. You know, so many people, when they get cancer, they have to make a decision. Okay, do I want to have some a quality of life or do I want to take this chemo that's going to just make me so sick that I won't be able to enjoy my family and mm. this may or may not work, but they are coming up with treatments and they've got some pretty heavy hitters donating to their company, but they're trying to make people more aware of scottcares.org and his of course, his platform is amazing because he had he was so visible on television for so long. Oh, yes. For skating and then, of course, winning the Olympics in 84, winning the gold. Um, but he's been, Gordon, such... you know, you know, if you keep talking, they won't have to listen to any of these podcasts. Well, that's true. But I, I, I love you know, it. I love uh, the fact that these people are not, you know, when we talk to Vince, he uh, he's not just a musician. These yeah. people have other passions. Yes. That and you did musical. get him to open up. I thought it was. Oh, I mean, it felt amazing. like it felt like your podcast feels like we're listening in on a private conversation, which I love. Yeah, you that's know. the key, and I love that these people are able to use their platform to talk about other things that they're really passionate about. And so, check it out. Go yes. on. Apple Podcast or Spotify or anywhere Stitcher. you get podcasts. Yes, Amazon. Anywhere, just put it Insight with Gordon Moat, or you can go to the show notes and click the link and go directly to all of them. You can binge yep. listen to all of them right now. Love Gordon, it. thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me and my people. Mark, I, you know, okay, I watch a bunch of these things that you do. And so I'm a fan. So I understand oh. the format and I love I love what you do and uh I love you as a person. I, love you. I think I think uh I the one of my regrets is that I didn't get to produce the Gaither vocal band while you were in it because I oh, think you are the best fun. You're the best baritone singer. Uh you, oh. you have such a and man, anybody that's the Family Fest got to hear you kill Mary. Did you know this weekend? I told you how good it was, but you sure man, did. every time you speak or anytime you sing, it's so powerful. You have such a great, a great gift, and to have you as a friend, I, I cherish that, and I'm grateful for you having me on. And let's. I'm just glad today. you weren't mad at me. <laughs> I can never be mad at you, man. <laughs> you know, I can. I tell you what, Bill's got me working. I tell you what, we've we're I'm working on two albums for the vocal band right now, plus the Fantastic. other things I'm producing. Plus the things I'm playing on, so it's uh, it's kind of crazy. And I'm then, glad you're busy. When I learned it was because you were so busy, I thought, thank God. I'm so you're grateful. Busy. Yes. I don't know why I all of a sudden have gotten busy again, you know. But it reminds me of uh, how it was 10, 15 years ago. And then tomorrow, I leave to do my first gigs as a sideman. I've never hadn't done a gig as a sideman in 20 years, but I'm... Now, what does that mean? To who? What does that even mean, a sideman? Well, a sideman is when you're not the artist. You're just playing for an artist. Oh, and, Alabama, uh, right? Yeah, I'm going to be doing the tour, the 50th anniversary tour with the group Alabama. And uh, so we're going to do a couple shows this weekend. And, and with Chip Davis, our mutual yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah. and this, that's going to be fun. I'll tell you, I'll take 30 seconds to tell you another yeah, quick tell story. Yeah, tell us. Uh, when I was a kid... Uh, growing up in Gadsden, Alabama, you know, that's about 45 minutes from Fort Payne where uh, Randy and Teddy and Jeff all lived right. and still live. Um, I was nine years old, and I'll never forget hearing my homes in Alabama on the radio. Drinking mm. was forbidden in my Christian country home. You know, my homes in Alabama. I mean, I can't, I'll never forget where I was when I heard that song for the first time. 
And then they started having hits. And Mark, when that happened, I mean, I was from a small town. I was I was playing. I started playing when I was three years old. I was playing in little churches and singing all I could, and listening. And I knew that I had a gift for music. I knew I had perfect pitch. I knew I, I listened to things and listened deeply like nobody else that I knew. But I didn't know what I was going to ever do with it because I was from a small town. Nobody knew who I was, and I didn't know how to, you right. know, I didn't know. I didn't know anything. But when I heard them on the radio, that gave me license to dream. And I thought, wow. you know, if these guys from a small town can have radio success and just do what they do, there's hope for me. And so <laughs> I started dreaming bigger than I ever dreamed before. And as a result, I ended up in Nashville, and the rest is history. But I know. I, and I, I let me just say, you have, how, how many times have you won the Country Music Awards for what a greatest piano well, player I, I, God ever gave fingers to? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this year it was my third time to win the ACM award. Uh, my wow. son makes my son made a joke of it this year when I won it. He what said, did he, say? "He said it says you've been nominated nineteen times." And I said, well, I guess that's true. And he came back and he said, is this your third time to win? And I said, yes, it is. And I thought he was going to compliment me. And he came back and he said, dad, that's a horrible percentage. <laughs> so, <laughs> so your kids keep you humble, man. How your old is he now? Humble. He is 21. He is uh, <sighs> finishing at uh, Sanford in uh, December, Sanford University in Birmingham. He's graduating uh, with a degree in Christian ministry. And he's believe. also, yeah, he's, it's crazy. He's a double major. He's also majoring in education. So he wants to be a coach and a teacher and work with young people. This week, he's here in Nashville doing an all kids sports camp. And the other, uh, other children. Yeah. Samantha just celebrated her year anniversary, a wedding anniversary to Jack Cottrell. If that Cottrell name sounds familiar, yes. a lot of your people know Travis Cottrell, and it's Travis's son, Jack. And so oh, how fun. We, we've kind of come full circle because Kimberly and I knew Travis and Angela when we were in college. We went to Belmont all together. Wow. And, uh, you know, Two Rivers Baptist together for a and long time. And isn't he a wonderful person? Not only is he a wonderful person, yes, he is, but he is one of the most amazing songwriters, singers, and worship leaders you will ever uh, be in a service with, uh, yeah, you're right. The power of his communication is off the charts too. And his, his artistry is, uh, man, it, it's amazing. I, I, I am in awe anytime I hear him sing or talk, I know it. he's, he's amazing. And then my other son, Ashton is 13 and he is a rising eighth grader and he's taller than Parker. He's taller than really. Me. Yeah. He's a football wow. player. And so, the, yeah, they grow. I have found that I feed them just about every day, and they just keep growing. I, I, <laughs> just keep growing. And Kimberly's yeah, doing good. She's amazing. We're going to celebrate 29 years of marriage in July. Uh -oh. And uh, so, uh, yeah, man, we're, we're doing well. We all had the plague, and we all came through it fine. <laughs> we had it yeah. for Christmas. We got it for Christmas. That was Santa's gift to us. You really? You had COVID for Christmas? Yes, we did. Wow. All of you? All of us. Did anybody have it horribly or no, how did it go? No, none of us. Uh, Kimberly probably got hit harder than anybody. She's just now getting her smell back. Oh. But uh, she uh, probably, she was more, um, you know, tired and, you know, just kind of didn't, felt like she had the flu probably longer than any of us. I kind of uh, popped back in a couple of days. Um, but, but uh, and then the kids were fine, but um anyway yeah it didn't but now my manager had it and and we almost lost him uh oh but he is fully recovered and doing great and uh so god has been really good to us through this and uh i'm grateful that everybody seems to be uh starting to work again we're traveling some again uh we're getting to uh be around people which we were made to do yeah. and uh i'm just grateful absolutely but but you know the 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 virus gave me an opportunity to do some things that I had not uh, had an opportunity to do, like the podcast right. and uh, starting this company. So, um, you well, know, I'm you excited for you, Gordon. You're going to be one of those musical billionaires before it's over. Well, <clears throat> I'm, 
you know, the only way that's going to happen is if Bill gives me half of his, uh, you know, <laughs> his kingdom. Portion, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but seriously, you know, if you're doing what you love to do and not every day is a day you love, but when most days are days you love, then we're pretty, we're pretty blessed. And, uh, so I'm grateful and, uh, hope everybody will go subscribe to the podcast. And you know, what else would help is if you'd leave us a nice review, if you enjoy it, leave us a nice review rated five stars if you don't like it keep it to yourself don't tell yeah. anybody <laughs> give us a good review that would really help us all right